MLG Saturday Night Instinct versus Status Quo. It's match number two, an amazing 50th event. Chris Puckett joined in the booth by Shockwave and Gandhi. Congratulations. I have to congratulate my sister on her engagement this morning. I even flubbed that one. But here we go, guys. Let's get into the game. I am pumped for this one. It's Onslaught Capture the Flag, and we're getting it started with one of the best players when it comes to the battle rifle skills. It's Roy, and this map, guys, it's all about the teamwork, communication, and the battle rifles. Chris, what are we expecting to see here? I'm expecting to see Roy in top middle almost the entire game. I mean, that kid is the hardest player, I think, in the circuit to get out of top middle, and he crushes people with the battle rifle. Scotty? I'm going to have to agree, but I expect Roy to kind of get in their base a little more. All right, we'll see how he plays this one to start off the game. It looks like he's going to let Cloud charge out first, bottom middle. Roy is going to follow him up. And they're making his way down bottom A after starting the charge bottom B. What's going on with this instinct squad? Cloud and Lunchbox were shut down. It looks like El Might and Roy are playing a bit passive here. Yeah, they look kind of lost right now, Chris. It's like they didn't expect status quo to come out firing so hot. Roy going for the stick here on Flame Sword. Flame Sword versus Roy. Roy leaves it for El Might Warrior to clean up. Now putting shots on Ace. Great communication and teamwork already from this instinct squad. And that has really been the difference between them and every other team so far this season. And that's exactly what you want to see right there. When you are when your teammate dies, you want to just get behind the other team and get in their base. Exactly what Roy, Roy did. And here we go. We got Roy. He's been the longest living player so far in this game. Staying alive all the way into the base about a minute in. Switching up his sensitivity. Whoa, that's a four. Oh, Moving back man. down to three. He's falling to Defy. Yeah, I, you can't be doing that come tournament time. you got to stay confident in your shot. I've went through that sensitivity crisis. I'm telling you, it's not just a tournament. Just stick to what you're used to. Right now, we're switching over to El Might Warrior. He's rocking his brand new Gunner Optics. Those are the Phantoms on in Best Buy stores. And El Might, he's making his way bottom B side, making his way into the... SQ base, and there's a clutch beatdown on Flame Sword. Now they're going to run it bottom A here. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do because even though they killed the guys on B, they know since they overloaded A, they will not spawn there. So he gets the flag back to his base. Chris, what are you expecting to see here out of the Instinct squad? They had three down, but the flag's out. Uh, well, I don't think they're really going to get this one. Uh, status Quo did a very good job stopping this flag, but what I've seen so far is Instinct has literally been in Status Quo's base this entire time. Status Quo has almost not been able to push yet. This is the first time they've been out and hopefully they can get some control and get a cap. And Nabel making his way top middle with Ace here for status quo. Two guys top middle, the flag's running in the hands of Cleet. That's uh, assault for some of you guys who don't know him on the personal <laughs> basis. But now we got Ace trying to protect that flag as Instinct's moving in for their turn and a great four shot from Ace. He's really heating up with the BR. Yeah, and now look for look for Ace to just come right into it or get assassinated. But when he spawns, he's gonna be feeling it. He's gonna have more confidence going up against his big brother. Flame Sword uh, dropping down from bottom A, making his way bottom middle to the Mauler. Instinct really starting to turn it on now. And let's switch over to the red team as we crank up the A40s. It's time for our Astro. Listen in. Two on two. Stay alive, Jason. You, you have help. Stay alive. Right, I need one more shot still. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I need help. All right, boss. Two dead. Two dead. On me. On me. I need help. I got him, I got him. Find me, I need help, I need help, find me. Watch out there, be square, watch out there, be square. I died, I died. I got another three dead, last guy. Last guy, weak. Hold me, one shot. Watch out, be tunnel, watch out, be tunnel. I'm watching it. Still be tunnel, still be tunnel. I know, he's there, he's on a weak. I'm pushing on him. Under our base, under our base. I'm looking. I got him. Stay on, stay on. Under our base, under our base. I'm running in. Be mates, be mates, be mates. Weak there, be square. Stay on there somewhere. Two dead. One spam, bottom center. RB spam. RB don't punch out. I got him. Three down. Three down right now. Under the base, under the base. Two down. I got some. What's up, Abe? What's going to be top, Abe? Stay on, stay on. What's up, Abe? I got him, I got him. Stay there, stay there. You guys are in. Aaron's weak there, Abe. Aaron's dead. We got to run this, guys. I'm running it. I'm running it. Abe. Watch out, they beat. Watch out, they beat up. Watch out, beat up, beat up that guy. Watch out, under the base, watch out. Aim ace one, aim ace one. Watch out under the base, two guys. Go away. I got him. Another guy, they beat. I died. Stay alive. Two on three. Two on three. I'm going up ace week. I'm going up. All right, stay alive. Jason's top eight. Got to go here. Through the bases. Kind of weak. Beat up. I'm pushing on to beat up my spawn. Watch out. I got another one. Where's the guy in our base? Where's ace? Where's ace? No, I'm running this, I'm running this. Ace is in our base, guys. 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 Ace is in our
I'll get one shot time made. Last guy got it. One shot time made. No one's on a flag yet. I saw him. I saw him. Flag is still down. Our flag is still down. Our flag. Our flag. Our flag. Our flag. Our flag. So the flag is stopped. A huge return by assault by status quo, guys. At this point in the game, last match, we saw about six flags on the scoreboard. What's different here between instinct and status quo? Well, you know, they just really haven't gotten control. You notice how both teams are staying very low, whereas Final Balls and Believe the Hype got top control and were able to run back-to-back -back flag caps. That's the difference here. And Naval shutting down Lunchbox inside the base. We got Assault position top middle, and Ace is pushing in for the flag. But like you said, neither team really taking control. Every time they get up top, just like Assault did, they drop down. Yeah, but right now they're in the position. If you see his two teammates, they're top mid B, and now they're just going to pull the flag and run it B after they kill Cloud. Ooh. Or he can just run through him. Cloud's just going to clutch it with a sick beatdown. You got Cloud pushing out of the base with Roy right now. They're going to try and lock down B for instinct. Meanwhile, Lunchbox is going top A, and it looks like Elmire Warrior is going to be coming off the spawn to help out Box on A side. I've seen a little bit of interesting play here from uh, Instinct. They get in the other team's base, but they seem to be more concerned about spawn killing than running the flag. And I don't know if that's been hurting or helping them. Looks like they're going for a little bit of stat padding here so far. Maybe they'll just turn it on <laughs> at the second half of the game. But Instinct definitely doesn't look as clutch as they were last two events here, guys. It doesn't look like they have their teamwork down as nearly as much. Well, it's not even so much their teamwork because when you hear the communication, they're definitely on the same page. It's just they've lost track of the big picture, which is the objective. Like Chris said, they're only trying to spawn kill. Pull the flag. You can get, when you have three down, you're going to get the cap most of the time. Especially with an instinct team that can usually out BR almost any other team on the circuit. They're all great killers. I mean, you might as well throw the flag and at least try a few times before. I might as well, I mean. Here we got Flamesword position top middle, putting shots on Elamite Warrior. Yeah, I said it correctly. His family corrected me in the lobby earlier today. Flamesword running the flag in, and here we go. It's the first flag for SQ. SQ takes the first lead here in the game one. Flamesword has been playing amazing this entire game. I've constantly been looking at his screen, and the kid really hasn't been losing many BR fights. Flamesword helping out, finishing off the kill on Elamite Warrior after Elamite took down Ace. Nice long range shots, helps enable pick up a double kill. And now we got three members alive for status quo, only one alive for instinct. El might wear trying to stay alive, bottom B. This is not good for instinct right here as Flame Sword, he's just random fire down from above. Yeah, and a great job by him to pick up the frags. A lot of people don't notice that, but if you pick up those frags and you know they're spawning bottom B, you're going to get easy kills as soon as they spawn. What and better way to get a kill than if they spawn on the nid? There's a double kill. Like oh, I said, a perfect four for the triple flame sword, your new heroes. And now it looks like he's going to position top B box. So check this out, guys. We have two members alive here for status quo over on A side. Flame sword just wants more kills, charging out of the base to finish that one. Starting to get greedy. And nice grenade, wow. prediction grenade. Listen to the communication. Catches Cloud with an easy kill. Oh. Out VR's Elamite Warrior. That's four down again, and he is on oh a frenzy. Oh, my goodness. Instinct looks very clueless right here, Chris. I mean, they normally would always get the guy out of their base first, but they're trying to get control of top middle. You have to get the guy out of your base before you can do anything. And I have to ask, Flames or Flame Sword and crew, status quo, they weren't at the latest 16 land. Do you think that gives them any advantage coming into this tournament? I don't think it does necessarily because they still went to the three team land with Victoria's Secret. It just helps to get an understanding of what teams are doing what, but regardless, you still have to know what it's like to play against them. Well, here we go. We have Instinct coming off the respawn. Lunchbox is trying to get into the status quo base. Instinct looking to come for a first cap of their own. They really haven't taken map control up to this point. Finally, they do as Lunchbox is running at bottom B. It looked like they just needed to end Flame Sword Spree. Now they're able to do a little bit of objective work. And here we go. It's all tied up one to one. One thing about that Flame Sword killing frenzy, it was really impressive while I was doing it. But at the same time, they only got one cap during that process. Was not effective. Right now, though, Flame Sword. Getting the flag return bottom middle for SQ. You got assault position top middle. Ace is top A and Enable is in the base. Here is status quo's turn to make a counter cap. Right now they look like they're in a good position to get this cap. But a great LPR on Enable. And once again, Stop just it. when we thought that SQ was going to get things rolling, it looks like Instinct just shuts them down. Earlier it was Cloud, this time it was Roy. Roy now at the SQ base. He's going to get out BR. Let's go on board with El Might Warrior and listen in for a minute with the Instinct Squad. They really need to turn things around because SQ is constantly charging and getting into their base. 
Watch A basement, maybe? Yeah, two R8 cuts. Two R four yard. Two R four yard. Oh, Muller got Oh, Muller. Oh, Muller got Oh, the Muller. A base. 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 A mage, one shot. Cloud, one shot. A mage. Whoever's A mage. Nice shot. Three. All dead, all dead. What's one? What's one? What is one? Find him, find him. B, B stairs to fight. B stairs to fight. Keep watching B. They can get B virtual. Nah, the flag guys, the flag. I don't know. There ain't one. I'm gonna nade it. There ain't one. I'm gonna nade it. There ain't one. There ain't one. One shot. There ain't one. One shot. There ain't one. One shot. We're trying uh, to beat flag. Cloud. B corner, B corner, B box. B box, B box, B flag. It's Elmite, it's Elmite. Guys, they're B box. Why are you street guys? You guys are 8 up. They're 8 up. They're 8 up. In the flag, A box. Two of them. 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 There's a guy in basement. I think he's A basement. Hey guys, more spots. A squared. A squared. I'm needing A squared. They're A dump. Hey, two top B guys. Guys, get shot. A dump. Guys, to the A dump. All right, boys, no shield. Boys, no shield. Wait, wait, wait. Boys, no shield. A dump. A dump. They stay. Watch out for A dump. Watch out for A dump. A dump. Watch out for 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 A dump. Watch I can't see it. Alright, we got right in front of me. Hey, they're A square, guys. They're B cuts, guys. They're A square on me. Guys, they're A square. They're A square still, guys. Watch out, B mace. And they're A basement. Two to their A basement. Two to their A basement. Two to their A basement. They're A basement. Two to their 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 A basement. All right, so here we go. We got a second flag in the hands of Elamite Warrior running into their bottom B, getting it into his base. No one in position to stop him, and Instinct is going to take the lead with a minute and 50 seconds left on the clock. Remember, Status Quo is going to need to tie this one up to send it into overtime after the 15-minute regulation time. Here's Elmite playing so sneaky top A. 